What's up, Blockheads? Here today with a helmet review. We're reviewing the Simpson Ghost Bandit. This episode is brought to you guys by Orlando Harley Davidson. All right, so I recently went up to Orlando Harley Davidson and I was actually just looking to purchase a flannel, uh, Dixon flannel. We'll do a review on that one later. Whenever I was up there, Josh started talking to me, who is the GM of Orlando Harley, and uh, he wears one of these. He just kept on kind of pushing me towards it and pushing me towards it and pushing me towards it. And then they ended up saying, hey, why don't you basically uh, take one and do a review on it? And I was like, okay, cool, I can do that and he actually let me wear his. He was so impressed by the quality of the helmet that he let me borrow his, uh, take a ride with it, and whenever I did that, uh, let me tell you guys, it was, it was a nice change because the view out of this helmet is awesome, especially as compared to my Shoei RF 1200, a little more open, and then uh, the airflow is actually really, really good. So I'm gonna be doing a review of the helmet later down the road, but for now, this is just a first look and unboxing. So I've got Reese here helping out. Actually, I think you helped out with the Senna helmet review too, didn't you? I did, I did. Oh yeah. So we're gonna be unboxing this, taking a look at it. We're gonna be going over some specs and all that, and we'll do a review video later down the road. So just opening it up. I'm sure you guys, if you follow the channel at all, you've totally heard of Orlando Harley. They worked with me quite a bit previously. We've done a lot of test rides with Orlando Harley. I mean, they've been a, a very big influence with the channel. They've, they've helped me out a lot. I've helped them out a lot. It's been a very, uh, very good partnership and it's always a pleasure going up there. So they recently started selling um, Simpson helmets. Uh, they recently started selling Dixon flannel as well. So if you guys are interested, in the helmets and you're in the central florida orlando area be sure to stop by orlando harley davidson and uh, check them out they offer them in all sorts of styles and designs um, i got mine in just black which i'll show you guys here in just a second and uh reese ended up picking one up he got his in this crazy what, what would you call it it's called revolution or revolt it's the uh the high vis yellow american flag so reese got his in that eric ended up getting his in gloss black same as mine and then they offer them in uh, a couple different options. So let's go ahead and you want to unbag this thing? Sure. We got to pull those guts out. Oh. Out of the box, this is how the helmet comes in the helmet bag. Normally I wear an XL with my helmets, but this, uh, they run a little bigger than normal. So I actually end up wearing a large. Uh, I think Reese was in the same boat, right? So yeah, we just had this debate on if run small or run large. So basically, normally I wear an XL, but in this helmet, I wear a large. So I think that means that they run bigger than normal, right? I don't, I don't know, you guys drop your comments down below, let us know. <laughs> Does that mean they run big or run small? I think that means they run big. Anyways, Reese says otherwise. They run smaller. <laughs> Reese says they run smaller. With this helmet, this is uh, one of Simpson's newer lines. Um, they do have all sorts of features with these. This is just kind of an initial first view. I'm gonna bust out the uh, DSLR and get some better close-up shots of all of it for you guys. But just an initial first look. You do have some really nice venting here in the front. You have a drop-down visor, which is this switch right here. So you press there, visor drops down. And then you do have a couple different spots at which this clicks into place. You do have a lock system as well, so if you click that up, that basically locks the visor into place and can't pull it up. Back down, able to lift the visor back up. So here on the back side, you have a couple of uh, exhaust vents towards the top. You've got some exhaust vents on the bottom as well. Same over here. Exhaust, exhaust. <laughs> exhaust, exhaust. exhaust, exhaust. Let's cut to some good footage of this thing and uh, we'll go over some specs about it. All right, so some of the product details from Simpson's website is that the Simpson Ghost Bandit helmet was designed 100% with motorcycle riders in mind. It has a lightweight shell that has been aerodynamically tuned for motorcycle riding, and it's fully ventilated for maximum airflow when you need it the most. It has integrated speaker and microphone pockets that make it easy to install your favorite communication device, and a drop-down sun visor that makes riding through changing light conditions as easy as flipping a switch. Some of the other features of the Simpson Ghost Bandit include a lightweight composite shell. It is DOT and ECE certified. It has a tool-free removable shield, a removable antibacterial liner, internal sun visor, integrated speaker and boom mic pockets, dual adjustable chin vents, 
top and rear ventilation, and a removable chin noise and air dam. Now the helmet ships with a clear face shield, but they do offer other options, such as light smoke, mirrored, dark smoke, iridium, and amber. The helmet weight is about 3.46 pounds, right around 3.5 pounds, and the head shape for it is intermediate oval. The helmet is very highly rated. If you go to Revzilla, it has a 4.1 out of 5 stars and lots of really, really great feedback. You guys be sure to go check it out via the link down in the description below. So we got some absolutely beautiful footage of the helmet there. Man, this thing is insanely lightweight. It's crazy. I mean, I know I'm gonna put a GoPro in the front of it, make it a little heavier, but just, it's crazy lightweight. What did you say about the weight of it earlier? It's awesome. Now, so you've been wearing it for a little bit, right? What are your like thoughts? Uh, three weeks now, yeah. Right. It's awesome. Uh, the buffering is not bad at all in it. Um, you don't have the infamous bobblehead, and it's a good freaking helmet. Nice lightweight. It's awesome. And it's a great way to stay in shape. <laughs> you saying I'm fat? No. I'm just kidding. Family guy reference. All right, so the helmet, it feels, it feels really quality. Simpson's been making helmets for a really long time uh, for race applications. The interior lining, padding, and all this stuff, you do have a chin curtain here, which uh, I believe is easily removable. We're gonna see. It's either easily removable or I just broke it. Nah. <laughs> it snapped out. So it's got these little snap tabs there and there. That's cool. Interesting way of doing it. Fits right into those. And then uh, it does have pockets for a uh, communicator system back in here. So if you pull those back, you can see there's uh, some recessed pockets in the lining, in the foam uh, for like a Senna, stuff like that. Overall, feels really quality. I wore it one time. Uh, I am going to do more of an in-depth review on it as I wear it and uh, get it hooked up with uh, a GoPro for remote vlogging. One cool thing I do like about this one that I know wasn't really available on other Simpson helmets is the vents here. It's one of the big reasons I wouldn't get one is these front vents, they weren't closable, but on this one they actually are. So there's little tabs right there where you can actually close the vents. So that's pretty important for moto vlogging because usually my microphone sets right here. I don't want a bunch of wind blowing on my mic because then the sound quality would be terrible. But uh, overall, yeah, it feels like a really super nice helmet. Let's see if we can go ahead and take this, some of this interior stuff out. Damn, that thing really fits in there. So that's pretty much how that, uh, how the padding is set up on the inside, really small fitting for the uh, actual strap, which is good. And you've got three tabs on the back, which clip into these spots there. Same for that side. And then let's go ahead and remove the liner as well. Cool, so that's the interior liner. Two tabs on the back, 
And then on the brow, it snaps in through these little tabs right here, instead of having push tabs like that. Now on a lot of helmets, when you have push tabs like this, especially around the brow, around the temple areas, you can actually feel that. So it's cool that they go this route instead of the push tab route. It's uh, definitely good for rider comfort. In here, you can see all the venting. Now I hear this helmet breathes really well. Whenever I rode with it that one time, it did feel like it breathed really well. What are your thoughts? Oh, it's awesome. All right, Reese was just saying something about the uh, pockets here. What were you saying? Speaker pockets for the cutouts. Um, on my setup and on Eric's, the speaker actually sits right in here. And you can either put it that side or on that side. You can need it farther away, it goes there. You need it closer, you can put it there. That's pretty cool. Two things about the visor. It is pin lock ready. So if you guys know what pin lock is, it's basically a way of keeping the visor fog free. It's this insert that goes into here and it's held on by the little posts here. So the visor that comes with it is pin lock capable. And then you have to buy the pin lock insert. If you guys are interested in any of this stuff, I will drop links to all of it down in the description below. One of the things that Simpson uh, posts is that you can basically get the visor on and off uh, and it's toolless. You don't need tools to do it, uh, unlike some of the previous models. But Reese says that it is a bit of a to get it back on, so we're about to find out. <laughs> All right, thing. Is that right? Oh my God. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. Kind of know where everything goes. It's not. It's not in. As much of a pain. What? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Jesus. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. All right. Yeah, he's not lying. It is a little tough to get it on and off, but just make sure you're lining everything up in the right places. I'll, I originally wanted to put that one into that channel, but it doesn't go. That's how it goes. All right. Fit test. All right. So this is basically fitment on Reese. You wear a size XL normally, right? But this is a size large. Yep. So this is fitment. P.S. It's glasses friendly too. Also, they offer different visor options for this helmet. So this is a reflective chrome visor. Unfortunately, I could not find gold, but that'll do for now. And we'll just throw some gold stickers on it. Yeah. All right, so that wraps up the first look at the Simpson Ghost Bandit, brought to you guys once again by Orlando Harley Davidson. If you guys haven't heard of them, I'm sure you've heard of them if you're tuned into this channel. But if you haven't, here's the link right here, and uh, I'll drop it in the link in the description down below as well. Once again, big thanks to Josh and Dana. Like I said, if you guys are interested in the product, be sure to check out the links down in the description below to the visor, to the helmet, um, and then a couple of the other color options as well. I've got, a, like I said, I'll, I'll display a bunch of color options right here, but they've got some really cool, uh, really cool options. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button as well hit the bell icon while you're over there so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Also, don't forget to sign up for the block box. Uh, as of me recording this, we are giving away a GoPro Hero 5 Black and then next month uh, is going to be something even better. So if you guys are interested in possibly receiving that, getting that, check out Patreon, patreon.com slash blockheadmoto, link also down in the description. Big thanks to Reese, appreciate the help, sir. And we'll catch you guys later. All right. Deuces.